Welcome to our garden, a peaceful oasis where nature thrives. But as we tend to our precious plants, we often find ourselves sharing this space with some furry, agile, and occasionally cheeky visitors. That's right, we're talking about chipmunks and squirrels, the dynamic duo of our garden ecosystem. These charming critters are no strangers to our landscapes, but do we really understand them? In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of chipmunk versus squirrel, deciphering garden neighbors. These tiny garden inhabitants may seem adorable, but to coexist harmoniously, we need to unlock the secrets of their daily lives. So, why should you care? Well, beyond their cuteness, understanding chipmunks and squirrels is key to nurturing a thriving garden while respecting our wild neighbors. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of these garden dwellers and explore ways to peacefully share our green havens. Let's get started! Chipmunks are delightful garden inhabitants, instantly recognizable by their striking appearance and endearing traits. With their petite size, they typically measure around 5 to 6 inches in length and sport distinctive stripes on their back that set them apart from other small mammals. These stripes, which run along their back from head to tail, are often brown or black in color, contrasting against their light, reddish-brown fur. Chipmunks are equally renowned for their cheek pouches, which they use for storing food. When it comes to habitat preferences, chipmunks favor wooded areas and gardens, where they can easily find shelter and forage for their preferred diet of seeds, nuts, and fruits. They often make their homes in burrows, utilizing their strong digging skills to create intricate underground networks. These industrious creatures are diurnal, meaning they are most active during the day, and their chirping calls are a common sound in gardens. Squirrels are a diverse group of small to medium-sized rodents, with several species inhabiting various parts of the world. In the United States, you'll often encounter different types, such as the gray squirrel, red squirrel, and fox squirrel. Each of these species has its unique physical characteristics that make them stand out. The gray squirrel, one of the most widespread species, boasts a sleek grayish coat and a bushy tail. Red squirrels, on the other hand, are known for their reddish-brown fur and tufted ears, giving them a distinct appearance. Fox squirrels are larger in size and often have a mix of gray and reddish-brown fur, with a strikingly long, bushy tail. Squirrels are remarkably adaptable creatures and can be found in a variety of habitats, including forests, urban areas, and, of course, gardens. They are renowned for their agility and are often seen darting up trees and leaping between branches with astonishing speed and precision. Understanding these nuances about chipmunks and squirrels can greatly enhance our appreciation for these garden neighbors and help us coexist harmoniously with these fascinating creatures. Chipmunks, those adorable garden visitors, have a diet primarily composed of seeds, nuts, and fruits. Their keen foraging skills come to the fore as they actively scour the garden floor for these delectable treats. What sets chipmunks apart is their remarkable cheek pouches, which can expand to carry food items several times their head size. This ingenious adaptation allows them to collect an impressive stash of food, which they diligently store in underground chambers for winter. It's like having a pantry beneath the garden. Chipmunks take their nesting seriously, digging extensive burrows that can include multiple chambers for various purposes. These burrows serve as their cozy homes, where they hibernate during the cold months and raise their young during the spring and summer. When it comes to reproduction, chipmunks are no slouches. They typically give birth to litters of four to five young chipmunks, known as pups. The nurturing mother chipmunk ensures her pups receive the care they need in the safety of their burrow. In the garden, chipmunks exhibit intriguing behavior that adds character to the ecosystem. You might hear their distinctive chirping calls, a way of communicating with others in their territory or alerting to potential threats. Their burrowing tendencies create a unique landscape in the garden as they construct intricate tunnel systems. Chipmunks are social creatures but can also be territorial, and their communication methods, including vocalizations and scent marking, play a vital role in navigating these dynamics. Understanding their behavior enhances our appreciation for these charming garden neighbors. Squirrels, those agile acrobats of the garden, maintain a diverse diet that keeps them busy year-round. Their menu includes nuts, seeds, fruits, and even insects, making them highly adaptable foragers. Squirrels are renowned for their habit of storing food for leaner times, such as winter. 
They meticulously bury nuts in various locations throughout the garden, relying on their excellent memory and keen sense of smell to recover these hidden treasures when hunger strikes. Squirrels take nesting to new heights, quite literally. Their nests, known as drays, are perched high in trees, providing safety and shelter from predators. In addition to drays, they also utilize tree cavities as cozy homes. When it comes to family life, squirrels exhibit fascinating behaviors. Mating typically occurs twice a year, in late winter and late spring. After a gestation period of about 40 to 45 days, female squirrels give birth to a litter of baby squirrels, called kits. Mother squirrels are dedicated parents, nurturing and protecting their young until they're ready to embark on their own squirrel adventures. Squirrels are true garden gymnasts, often seen darting up trees, leaping from branch to branch, and showcasing incredible climbing skills. Their agility allows them to access food sources and evade predators with remarkable ease. When it comes to communication, squirrels use vocalizations like chattering and barking to convey messages to one another, especially when a potential threat approaches. Although ground squirrels are social, those that live in trees are less social. However, they do sometimes engage in playful interactions with their fellow squirrels, which adds a delightful dimension to the garden experience. Understanding these aspects of squirrel behavior sheds light on their captivating lives in our gardens. Chipmunks and squirrels, our garden-dwelling neighbors, share more in common than meets the eye. Both are avid foragers, gathering seeds, nuts, and fruits to sustain themselves through the changing seasons. They possess exceptional memory, enabling them to locate their cached food stores even months later. Additionally, both creatures are diurnal, meaning they are most active during daylight hours, making them frequent daytime garden visitors. While chipmunks and squirrels may seem like charming additions to the garden, their shared love for certain foods can lead to conflicts. These critters often compete for the same food sources, including birdseed and garden crops. Gardeners might find themselves devising creative strategies to protect their plants from these persistent nibblers. Understanding their overlapping habits helps us navigate these conflicts and find solutions that promote coexistence. One remarkable trait both chipmunks and squirrels exhibit is their adaptability to urban environments. As natural habitats shrink, these resourceful animals have found ways to thrive in human-altered landscapes. Gardens and parks in bustling cities become their new homes, showcasing their ability to coexist with us in the urban jungle. Observing their resilience reminds us of the intricate balance between nature and urban life, encouraging us to appreciate their presence in our everyday surroundings. Chipmunks and squirrels, often seen as garden visitors, play a crucial role in enhancing the health of your garden. How, you ask? Through seed dispersal. These nimble foragers frequently collect and hoard seeds, nuts, and fruits in various locations throughout your garden. However, they don't always retrieve every hidden treasure. Those seeds that are left behind often germinate, contributing to the natural rejuvenation of your garden. In essence, they act as nature's gardeners, helping to sow the seeds of new life. While chipmunks and squirrels bring their own charm to your garden, they can also pose some challenges. One of the most common issues gardeners face is their penchant for digging. These industrious creatures can uproot plants, bulbs, and even damage the root systems in their quest for buried treasures. Additionally, they have a taste for fresh, tender plant shoots, which can lead to nibbled leaves and damaged flowers. For garden enthusiasts, this can be frustrating. Fortunately, there are effective ways to address these challenges without resorting to harm. To deter digging, consider placing wire mesh or small rocks around vulnerable plants, creating a protective barrier. For safeguarding against nibbling, the use of natural repellents like cayenne pepper or garlic spray can be an eco-friendly solution. Bird feeders strategically placed away from your garden can divert their attention, offering an enticing alternative. Remember, it's essential to coexist harmoniously with these garden neighbors, finding humane and sustainable ways to mitigate these issues. By striking a balance between enjoying your garden's beauty and accommodating its wild inhabitants, you can ensure both flourish in harmony. Coexisting with chipmunks and squirrels in your garden can be a rewarding experience when approached with a bit of understanding and patience. One strategy is to create designated feeding areas stocked with squirrel-friendly treats like nuts and seeds. 
This not only diverts their attention from your price plants but also provides them with a reliable food source. Additionally, consider installing baffles or squirrel-proof bird feeders to limit access to birdseed. For those concerned about their burrowing habits, offering alternative nesting sites like squirrel boxes can deter them from creating extensive tunnels in your garden. When conflicts arise, it's crucial to rely on humane methods for resolution. Trapping and relocating these animals may not be the most compassionate approach, as it can disrupt their established routines and even endanger their lives. Instead, explore natural deterrents like motion-activated sprinklers or repellent sprays with ingredients like capsaicin or predator urine. These non-lethal methods encourage them to seek alternative spaces without causing harm. By embracing humane practices, you not only protect your garden but also foster a sense of harmony with these charming garden neighbors, allowing both your green haven and their wild habitats to flourish side by side. In this journey through the world of chipmunk vs. squirrel, deciphering garden neighbors, we've uncovered the remarkable lives of these enchanting creatures. From their diet and nesting habits to their playful behaviors and essential roles in our ecosystems, chipmunks and squirrels have proven to be more than just garden visitors. As you tend to your garden, we invite you to not only protect your plants but also appreciate the charm these wild neighbors bring to your green haven. Their presence adds a touch of nature's magic to your everyday life, reminding us of the intricate connections that weave through our world. We'd love to hear about your own encounters and experiences with chipmunks and squirrels. Share your stories, tips, and even your challenges in the comments below. And don't forget to suggest future wildlife-related videos you'd like to see on our channel. Before we wrap up, a big thank you for joining us on this adventure. If you enjoyed learning about chipmunks and squirrels, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay connected with our wildlife explorations. You can also find more exciting content by following the links to related videos or connecting with us on our social media profiles. Together, let's celebrate the beauty of the natural world right in our own backyards. Until next time, happy gardening and happy coexisting!